Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ramya Jayaram, Infertility Specialist and Reproductive Surgeon at Women's Centre by Motherhood, Coimbatore. PCOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. So there are a lot of myths about this condition and today I would like to clarify a few points about it which will ease your mind and make you understand that PCOS is actually not a disease but it the ovaries are affected as an end point of certain factors which are happening in the body. So what is PCOS? PCOS is basically a hormonal imbalance which happens in the body and in turn that affects the ovaries and in turn the lady may have many symptoms because of that. So what basically happens is there are women who are very thin who may be PCO and there are women who are overweight and they can be PCO as well. So in women who are thin, what happens is they have a genetic tendency that their hormones which are normally responsible for the egg to grow and rupture on time, that there is a certain imbalance that happens in that level of hormones and what happens is this egg doesn't grow and rupture on time. What happens is it gets delayed, the growth of the egg itself gets delayed and sometimes it does not ovulate at all. And because of that, a girl may have start, start having her cycles either once in 40 days, 45 or 50 days or even much longer. And it may come to a point that she may get her cycles only when she takes medications in order to get it. So these are girls who are, or women who are very thin and who are PCO. And there's another end to the spectrum where women may be very obese, overweight and have PCO. So in those group of women, what happens is that now, again, like I mentioned, there are certain hormones in the body which are responsible to make the egg grow and rupture on time. So, for example, if a lady's normal cycle is about 25 to 30 days or 35 days, it basically means that it is taking that much of time for that egg to grow and rupture and in case if a pregnancy doesn't happen, she gets her cycles. But as the lady starts becoming overweight or, you know, obese, what happens is that the fat in her body itself starts producing certain hormones and this fat in turn suppresses the hormones which are responsible for making that egg grow and rupture on time. So when this starts happening, as she slowly starts gaining weight and the uh, growth of the egg starts getting suppressed, again she will not get her cycles and she may, uh, on time it may start again getting delayed uh, to 45, 50 or 60 days or even more or it will come to a point that she will get her cycles only when she is given tablets for the endometrium to grow, uh, grow and bleed. So these are two spectrums of this condition called PCOS. But again what happens in both these conditions whether you are a thin PCO or whether you are overweight and uh, you are PCO, the ovaries are ultimately affected because these eggs they all grow to a certain point and because of the hormonal imbalance that, are hap that is happening, the egg can't rupture and since all these eggs come to a certain point, they get arrested at that stage, which is why when a scan is being done, the radiologist says that this lady has polycystic ovaries. This cysts basically uh, mean that all these eggs have grown to a certain point but they have not ruptured and hence they look like a lot of bubbles uh, basically cysts in the ovaries. So what we need to understand clearly is that PCOS is not a disease of the ovary but the ovary is finally being affected because of all the hormonal imbalance that is happening in the body.